Hey there, my name is Miles. As you can see, my company is Wilco Land. Um, what I'm sharing with you is an educational content here. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's revolving around Lane County, Oregon. So Lane County, Oregon is along the coast up, you know, maybe a town called Florence might ring a bell to a lot of people. So I'm gonna get started here. And this is really how to utilize what the county already has on file, you know, the database. These counties, Lane County, for example, has a database, with a lot of information, you know, zoning, um, and other documents or details you want to know about a property. You can go out and find the answers on your own and do your own due diligence um, using some of this material I have for you. So I'm just going to use this property as an example. What you're going to look for to search a property is something called the parcel ID or the APN. And keep in mind, you can apply this logic and this mindset, the way I'm thinking, to you know, other counties. And what you're going to look for is you know, hey, Lane County uh, property um, search or Lane County parcel search, Lane County GIS records, um, Lane land, Lane County, Oregon uh, property search. So it's gonna bring you up to something and you might have to try a few different keywords. Maybe it's Lane County GIS system. Uh, maybe it's Lane County pr uh, parcel lookup, you know, whatever it may be, property search, we got here. Um, at the end of the day, Google is gonna be one of your best friends when you're looking for lands. And this is an area that we sell land, so I wanted to address it. Um, and let people kind of cover some of their own FAQ. So again, you're looking for things called the APN, the map tax lock number, uh, parcel ID, account number, things of that nature. So this property and a lot of vacant land will not have a physical address yet. So you're gonna be using this um, identifying number that the county has. And as you can see, no properties found. So, hey, what the heck is going on here? But it doesn't want those dashes. So keep that in mind. Like sometimes you'll see on a parcel ID extra zeros or dashes um, for whatever reason, um, everybody's got their own way of identifying it. And um, you know, these computer systems are kind of finicky. So you can see there's no address for this. And you can see the city limits on founds. Um, you can just start to look a little bit more about this tax maps. I'll open this link in a new tab and see if that works. So yeah, you can download the map here and um, you can look for the property. You can see that ours is, is actually this one right here. It's right off Hazel Street. So I'm gonna actually add this video as well to this listing. So keep, keep tuned here. Um, let's see, CS Law Highway um, up on Hazel Street is this little um, property. And so actually across the street, which is really cool, is the CS Law River. And this is um, Gamefish Park. So it's public fishing and there's huge trout spawn here. It's kind of world famous from what I hear. So this would be a cool, I know our property is steep that we have here, but for those watching this video, if this property is still available, um, this is a really great location. It reminds me of maybe like a tree fort, um, something unique you can do and just go fishing across the street during the trout spawn. So let's move on to the next thing. And, and again, the main question I'm covering here is there, is there road access? You know, what, what does this tax map look like? And we're looking at that there. So. Um, are there any uh, building permits, permit search? And I won't, I won't dive into a lot of this too deeply um, to be specific on a property. I try, to make, um, I try to make videos for all of our properties and cover this more in depth. So this one I'm, I'm gonna actually use in the property we're discussing, but I want it to be more educational. So there's no permits been found on this property. So Let's go back. Um, there's gonna be nothing here, Scan County building permits. So there's gonna be nothing found there. Last three years, none found. Obviously we bought it, so this hasn't been updated yet. County zone and map viewer. I mean, you can dive into some of this. Lane County map viewer. Um, this is a GIS um, application. So this is really cool. This is a great feature. You can typically use different layers um, as I'm doing up top here. Looking at um, again, you can see Hazel Street. You actually see, <laughs> can't talk to you. You can actually see Tiernan Road as well, running up here in Hazel Street there. So you can see this yellow is indicating RR5 zoning, whereas this green is indicating F2 zoning. So again, what can you do with the property? What's it zoned for? We're looking at an F2 zone. We're looking at an RR5 over there. So, you know, we don't know exactly what that means yet. You can see Wilco LLC is the owner down here. You can see the owner's mailing address and how much acreage it is. Um, you can change what you're looking at. Um, do you want a topo map? Do you want um, train with labels? I think some of that would be interesting to look at here. So let's see if this updates when I click it. It might just take a minute, but we're looking at legends here as well. So this again is how to, 
and I said F2, um, F2 impacted forest, um, R5 over there. So we can see there's a lot of um, different legends there. You can do different layers, or this is, I guess it's a ta operational layers. So um, tax lot number, you don't need any of that. So, you know, maybe something that might be important is soils, contours. So see how we can add these different layers? Landslide data. Okay, so here's a boat ramp. This is pretty cool. So you can start to find different layers. Tiering in boat ramp, um, landslide data. There's really nothing. Um, oh, there's maybe something popped up there. But so again, this is, um, I can open this up, class one streams, and I can add more. Do you see how much information, I mean, this has, you know, um, wetlands. So, I mean, I'm just adding so much to the map. It's kind of hard to read right now, um, but you can see these things start to pop up. I just want to show you the power of these GIS systems. Like this is a really awesome GIS system. Is there any flood hazards? Um, I don't, yeah, I mean, there is. I mean, look at what, look at what comes up. Um, I mean, there's a ton of stuff. I mean, I could click, continue to click through all this, but I think you get the point the game habitat. I mean, if you open it up, you get to click more of it. So slope, this is actually nice. So let's see what the slope is like. I mean, heck, you can even open it up more. Most recent slope information, air photos and imagery. Um, you know, I'm guessing some photos might pop up, some links to open some. As you can see, I mean, this is just, this is over information overload probably right now, but you get the point. I mean, you get the ability to go through this one by one and wait to kind of see what the screen shows up for you. So I wanted to, to put that in perspective. This little guy is meant to be, we can put him down here and I think get street views is what that's referring to. Um, bird's eye window. Um, you know, there's bookmarks, there's a ruler. You know, how big is this property, for example? We can measure. Um, something and let's see you know, what is a tenth of an acre I gotta press down it looks like look at that isn't that cool that's really cool so let's do another one if I can let's trash that yeah I mean this is this is really awesome stuff um, I'm really I could geek out on this for a while so um, yeah I mean you can draw a square you know a circle you can can do a lot with this. Um, if you want to save it, I think this would be downloaded or save it. So again, just, you know, showing you the power of this, um, you want to know who your neighbors are, you can click into some of this. And you can start to look at their Okay, here's their mailing address right here. And this is their information. So parcel owner information. Um, so you want to make an offer on the property next door to you. Property permit search. So there's, there's a lot, there's really a lot you can do with this. Um, this has the soils on it too. So if I click into this property, I can click through it and start to read a little bit more about it. Um, F2, impact, no wetlands. Um, you know, the soil is whatever. I'm not a soil expert, but that obviously stands for something. If I didn't know what it was and I wanted to learn more, I'd probably start to Google it. Um, slopes, I think, or this is more uh, soils here. Contours, elevation 40. So yeah, I mean, we're learning about these properties. Um, I encourage you to use Lane County's GIS system. It's very, very helpful. Um, I know I didn't answer the question, hey, what can you do with F2 zoning? Well, let's, let's look around a little bit more. Um, zoning map, zoning designation. This even has RR5, you know, maybe it, it has some sort of difference there. Maybe there's some sort of cross zoning this has, but what I would do to learn more about zoning is maybe try some of these links and it's not, it's not giving me much. So I would maybe go Lane County um, F2 zoning definition. So just using Google as your best friend when you're doing this land sort, uh, search. So, I mean, this, I mean, it pops up right here. I mean, we can start to click some of these links and start to read about F2 zoning right here. So impacted forest lands, you know, what's the purpose? You know, you wanna use this um, for other reasons try um you know contacting the county and seeing how flexible they'll be with the zoning if you can rezone it if you can do other um activities on that zoning so 
I think that's enough of this video for today. You kind of get the point. Um, these are really powerful GIS systems, and I encourage you to use them on your own, really putting the power in, in our customers and our buyers' hands to start looking into some of this. We have that data available for you to look into it. You know, we give you a summary of the property. We give you what we know, but we're in South Dakota. We can't do everything for you. So um, I have a link to this one automatically right here. And I definitely think it's worth a look. So again, those interested in Lane County, I hope this was helpful for you. If you ever want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me and go over some due diligence tips, my number is 605-250-1256. And obviously I'm all over the website. So send me an email, send me a text, give me a call. I'm checking out for today. Thanks for tuning in.